Hello, my friends, back with a Gala Games uh, Gala token update. We are up 4% at 0 .03900 as I make this video. What do you know? We got a green day. That is fantastic to see. The, the markets turned green this afternoon. I've been watching them all day. And uh, just this afternoon, they really started picking up steam. You know, um, I guess there was some kind of mention about uh, Bitcoin being a commodity, and that, that's what. Uh, you know um i guess has started this rally so i i don't know you know how rumors are the news but i read an article that that mentioned something like that but you can see on the right hand side i mean this morning most of this was all red and uh we got some nice green numbers out there bitcoin is up uh you know um a half a percent right now but it was in the 26 thousands now it's up 27 almost 27 three so that looks beautiful we're gonna look at this fantastic chart here and uh, some things we were pointing out yesterday that came to fruition and uh, we'll get right back to this um, and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button we would love to have you a part of this group and uh, uh, please join we would uh, like to have you here we're gonna do that 100 ADA giveaway here in a couple days and all you have to do to enter is hit the subscribe button that's it I'm gonna do a giveaway every month and uh, got a fantastic crew of people in here so come join us we'd love to have you but US charges FTX has bank been freed with paying 40 million dollars in a Chinese bribe this just came out this morning these charges literally this morning in New York New York US prosecutors on Tuesday unveiled a new indictment against Sam Bankman Freed accusing the founder of the now bankrupt FTX crypto exchange of paying a 40 million dollar bribe to Chinese officials so they would unfreeze his hedge funds accounts the new bribery conspiracy charge adds the pressure on the 31 year old former billionaire who now faces a 13 count indictment over the November collapse of FTX Prosecutors had previously accused Bankman Freed of stealing billions of dollars in customer funds to plug losses at his Alameda Research hedge fund and orchestrating an illegal campaign donation scheme to buy influence in Washington, D.C. And if you're not real familiar with this Alameda Research uh, hedge fund plugging the losses, his girlfriend, um, I guess that's who she was, she was like doing all these uh, trades, you know, um, futures contracts with Bitcoin and just like losing all this money it was insane um, you know if you're interested dig into it more on YouTube I'm, I'm sure there's videos about out there about Alameda research and you can and you can watch them but it, it, it it's crazy um, she just acted like it was uh, it was no big deal you know wagering millions and millions and millions and losing but it says here, a spokesman for Bankman Freed declined to comment. Bankman Freed is expected to be arraigned on Thursday uh, in Manhattan Federal Court. Separately, on Tuesday, Kaplan approved modifications to Bankman Freed's $250 million bail package that is designed to prevent the defendant from tampering with witnesses. The indictment said Bankman Freed ordered the $40 million crypto payment to a private wallet from Alameda's main trading account to persuade Chinese government authorities to unfreeze uh, Alameda accounts with more than one billion dollars of crypto in them. Prosecutors said the Alameda accounts have been frozen as part of an investigation into an unnamed Alameda counterparty and Bankman Freed's prior efforts to lobby Chinese officials to lift the freeze were unsuccessful. It says here once uh, they also said Bankman Freed around November of 2021 authorized a transfer of tens of millions of dollars of additional crypto to complete the bribe wow boy this guy is really in deep so this is on yahoo finance if you're interested in reading it here's the top 100 this is for the day and this morning boy all of these were red it was just uh it was looking ugly you know this is the past hour uh it looks like things have been pretty level the past hour, you know, minus 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you know, but, uh, um, whoops, sorry about that, but uh, for the day there, we're, we're starting to look really nice, got some nice gains out there. The fear and greed index, the market cap is up 2.2% to $1,199,000,000,000. Uh, volume is down 4.73% over 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance is dropping 1.06%. That's good. 
you know I'm sure you guys know that but that means that the uh, the altcoins are taking more of the money than Bitcoin right now so that's good to see uh, market sentiment we are at a 59 we're still in greed um, here's your biggest gainers and biggest losers don't know why there's only two over here but uh, that's on coin market cap for some reason uh, there's only two listed there today but getting some nice green action going here your trending coins on your left your most visited and your recently added I think I'm gonna stop showing this part down here because uh, every time I come down here it just kind of rubs me wrong all these new fortune cookie I don't know floki tier Jeez, oh man, I don't know. You know, I just don't like to see uh, ordinary folks like me, me and you, and everybody to get taken advantage of. And it's just a shame when you see stuff like that popping up all over. All right, but here's Gala. We had this falling wedge we were talking about yesterday. When you know it, we had that fake out to the bottom after that news yesterday. This is on the one hour. Let's put this on the four. And, uh, get a better look at this because we were pointing this out yesterday when that news happened yesterday how that we fell out of this pattern and I mentioned a lot of times you'll get fake outs down there and look at that we ran up we busted out of this falling wedge and now we're probably going to back test this now as support instead of uh, resistance so that is beautiful to see that's what we want to see let's look at that 12 hour RSI just spinning up Let's see where the daily's at. Daily's almost reset. I'm getting more excited as I, because uh, I cover, and the eight hour has turned up, you know, because I cover maybe, t you know, 10 different coins or so. So I don't know where these were at all the time, but wow. Couldn't look better, guys. Really couldn't. I think we are in for a run this week, and I think we've all been waiting for this patiently. Me kind of more impatiently, but. Uh, it seemed like we were just we were just going sideways in here, you know. I mean, if we put it on the daily chart, let's look at this thing, you know. And then this falling wedge, you know, there, there was nothing really to talk about for you know three to three, four, five days there. Besides the same thing over and over, we need some action to happen here. That's beautiful to see that daily just turning up, because look what happened last time it turned up right here, you know. And let me stretch this out a little bit so you can get a better idea you know the price movement you love to see that daily rsi reset you know it started uh we really got some price action last time so that's looking beautiful i, I still believe that we are in this uh you know five wave up pattern i really do you know two three would be our longest four and five who knows where this will go we'll just have to uh I still believe that's what we're doing until the, you know something proves me wrong and to prove me wrong it would have to take this out down here not necessarily to prove me wrong it can it's gonna the market's gonna do what it's gonna do but that's what it looks like to me um, you know you can clearly see waves inside here and here I'm not gonna count them out but beautiful we got a break of this wedge that's what we wanted and uh, we'll see where this thing takes off to you know my the, the first target I would be looking for is that 618 and that 702 area which we'll put a box up there you know I would expect it because uh, normally with cryptos this is the area you head to you know first and we'll see if we get through that so I'm gonna keep that up there we'll see where we're at tomorrow and uh, please hit that subscribe button guys would love to have you here we probably have some a really exciting week ahead of us so um, buckle up I hope it turns out that way hopefully the bad news stays out of the market and we can just let these charts do their thing so have a fantastic night everybody thank you so very much for watching the video